Okay, here we go. Up to 495. We're 14 and a half minutes from when I started this. We were two to three minutes into the video when I was messing around with it and doing it. So you could add a couple minutes to this. So let's say it's 16 and a half minutes and it's at 500 degrees. <clears throat> and this is the first time cranking it. I mean, this is first time. So I don't know if it'll get cranking sooner as it gets broken in. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna just see how long it takes to get to that 700. It's inside the house. If it was outside at 106 degrees, it'd probably get up a little quicker because it's inside an AC uh, home. But like, let's say you're at a, at a place that's only 75 degrees, and this is gonna be how long it takes. So we'll keep uh, timing it here and see how long it takes. It's been starting to get up there pretty quick, but I like because this red light will, look at, it pulsates as it's heating. Pretty cool, and then if I started to turn it back down, it would go to blue. That's kind of fun stuff, you know? So anyways, what else? Um, I tell you, overall, look, is this great. I don't want to lift the lid yet because I want to see how long it takes with the lid down um, to get it going and get it up to 700 if we can. That's the idea. Uh, is there anything else? I would just say, you know, I don't want to say buyer beware, but if you're expecting perfection, that kind of metal work is not perfection. You know, little tap welds in there, whatever. It, it, it's just not a finished look. And remember, this is first gen. So, you know, they're getting out something that how many people are now moving into apartments and urban dwellers and condos that are like, hey, I like to grill. I like the grilling feeling, but I can't have a charcoal grill. I can't have a gas grill. Well, this is what you gotta go with. And all you naysayers and barbecue snobs, well, you know what? If this is what I got, this is what I got. I can go outside. I can grill up some stuff and I still I'm gonna have a good time and hang out with the people on the patio and on the deck. You know, for those who are intimidated by the propane tanks and switching those out all the time or having to do charcoal and do the little chimney, believe me, I have a Traeger, I have a Weber, I've done it all, love it. I love barbecuing and that's why I got this. But, you know, I'm not going to choose the place I live because I barbecue. I'm going to choose the place I live and then go with what I got. So, anyways. Um, but I like it. I mean, it's, it's solid. I can't touch it right now because it's blazing hot. But just want to give you guys all the looks around here. And, I'm, you know, I'm standing I'm right up to it. And it's cranking up over 500 degrees right now, and it's not like I can't stand by it. You know, I can put my hand right here, I'm not gonna touch it. And then I took this grill off, so we can see one of the burners. We're at 565, three, four minutes into this video. So, let's see where we're at. So we're at 20 minutes at 565, 570. So it's taking a little longer. I think it's advertised like 15 to 20 minutes. It could get up to 700. I don't remember what they were saying on the website. But for a first time, crank it, go for it. You're at 21, 22 minutes. And we're at what, 570 it just said? Oh, let's see what it said. 575. Which, you know, hey. You can be cooking some steaks on that. Let's give it a quick look. Oh, by the way, I'm holding on to the handle here, right next to it, nothing. No heat, cool, nothing. These guys right here, warm, but obviously I can put my finger there. Not a problem. Okay, eh, gets a little hot. Just watch out for those. 
but this, not a problem. Okay, let's take a quick peek. Need to do it, 585. Ooh, oh man, that is hot. <laughs> All right, I just got a rush of heat, like an oven. So, all right, uh, let's see. What else, what else, what else? Um, I don't know. I'm happy. I like the ergonomics, you know, kind of how the comes out, meets up with this area coming out here. Pretty cool. They didn't just make it flush and have that stick out. So I like that. Made that come up out to here. Little things like that. I know some people think that that's cool and some people think that that doesn't mean anything or matter. I like that they have two magnets for your doors. So it creates a really good solid door feeling. Um, and in here you just have all your stuff. And you know what's really good? You don't have to have a propane tank in there. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, we're at 600, 620, let's call it 22, 23 minutes. I think we're, let's see if we can get there. Mm, what else? Let's, let's look at the grate. So basically, you got your grate. Uh, I'm just gonna give your char marks for your stakes. Um, you've got your drips in there. The back or underside got two of those now the only thing is there's no um, or it's not a dual burner system so there's no it's not like a cooking area here and here where you can do low and high temperature or high and low temperature so I, I don't think I ever did that. I mean, if you do charcoal, you basically got one thing. You got a cold spot and a warm spot. You get that with propane too. But with this, it's pretty much going to be what it's going to be. And I did buy a uh, temperature gun. So I think when this is done, when we get up to that 700, I'm going to get a temperature gun, uh, get my temperature gun out, and I'll shoot it and look at all the different spots and see... Um, if there's hot spots, cold spots, and how accurate, accurate this is. So we'll do a temperature accuracy video. But hang in there. We're coming on eight minutes in this video. We're probably about almost 25 minutes to get it to 620. And it's getting a little warm in here, <laughs> walking around the grill in the house. But uh, let's see. Hopefully this helps you guys and you, you get a really good view of it. I mean, this is what you would do if you saw it at a Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, your local home and garden place. This is what you would check out. I don't even got holes in the back there. So got plenty of flexibility if you want to put some little hooks on there if you're a DIYer and you want to just get some metal hooks put it in there and have a hook hang down and uh, stick it in there have it come down on the back have a hook put your barbecue tool on there you could do it but all right where are we at 6.30, 25 minutes in at 6.30. First time, first crank. And it's possible that this might go faster once it's already uh, been heated and run. I'm sure they've tested it. Can't imagine they'd send something out without testing it. So I'm gonna end this at 10 minutes. So it's not too long and then we'll come back we're at 635 at about 26 minutes all right so we'll come back when it hits 700 if it's it hits 700 and then i'll grab the uh temperature gun and we'll uh we'll open this up and we'll check the spots see if there's hot spots cold spots all right i'm out <laughs>